What is up everyone? My name is Sebastian from Schlagzeug Studio Online in Mannheim, Germany. And today I'm going to show you how to play the song Animals from the band Architects. Let's go. Okay, so this song is not that difficult. And usually architect songs are very, you know, complex. So um, yeah, it's, it's cool to have a song that is a bit simpler. And some of my students asked me if I could, you know, show him how to play the song. And I thought I'd make a quick video for you guys as well. I'm going to show you each part and we'll also blend in uh, some of the notations. At the end of this video, you're going to see me perform the whole song with notation on the bottom. So stay tuned. Let's start out with the uh, intro. It's a simple beat. It's just one and three on a bass drum, two and four on a snare drum. And instead of playing eighth notes with the right hand, we're playing quarter notes with the right hand on a cymbal. Sounds something like this. In a fourth bar, uh, we are accenting what the guitar is playing. A little bit slower. Okay, cool. Another three bars of the main groove in bar eight. Um, we're going to end this part by playing the next part is a break but we're still playing the one with uh, the floor tom and the bass drum like this in combination with a bar before Now we have three bars of doing nothing, waiting, and we start again in bar four on the on count three with a open hi-hat and a tom fill-in. Sounds like this. One, two. One, two. Now I'm showing you the main groove of the verse, which is... Again, in bar four, there is some kind of a fill-in, and this one sounds like this. So this will lead us to the first uh, chorus. We are now playing eighth notes with the right hand. you have a small fill-in at the end. Just four snare drums with a flam on, uh, at the beginning. We continue with the second part of the chorus. It's the same groove. It ends on count three. After this part, you'll play the intro part again, which is the simple beat. Yeah, we had that one before. After that, the... Uh, Second verse starts right away and you'll be playing uh, the toms. So um, I'll show you the transition. It 
Same, same, but in uh, measure or in bar number four, you have a different fill-in. And it's longer, it takes up one and a half bars. And it sounds like this. Bit slower. Then, of course, again, the tom, uh, tom part, and at the end, in bar number eight, uh, we have a different fill-in that, you know, ends the part, that closes the part. Sounds something like this. Again, slower. Okay, I'm playing the hi-hat because I like it and uh, you could just, you know, do it the same way as the original drummer is playing it, just, you know, playing a snare at the end. Next one is a, the second chorus. It's all the same. And then, after that one, we are having some kind of a bridge part or interlude part and it's just quarter notes on a floor tom and uh, the bass drum and it's very simple, like... In the second part, from bar 5 to 8, you can actually, you know, experiment a bit or play more toms and there's some kind of a synthesizer in the background or different uh, drums in the background. I was not able to hear it, so, you know, I just um, wrote down the original part, which is again just... And, yeah, this part ends in bar number 8 with... Uh, on the three end with eight eighth notes and then again you have a uh, bar rest bar a break bar a pause bar whatever and then you have this kind of a second bridge second interlude which start uh, starts off uh, with two choked cymbals And then you're playing the beat on, or the groove on a China symbol. In my case, it's just a stack. It sounds like this. All right, and that part ends in uh, bar eight with uh, some more symbols. Bit slower. Okay, and then we have the last chorus, um, which is uh, twice as long, I guess. It's four, eight, uh, it's 16 instead of eight. And after every four bars, we have a fill in. Um, I, I already showed you that fill-in, it's just uh, for uh, 16th notes on a snare. But this time we are having one different fill-in, which is in bar number 8. That's uh, in the middle of that prolonged chorus. And it's just a, a tiny change. Slower. I'm gonna play you that uh, whole bar. That's about it. And after that uh, prolonged or whatever you would call it chorus, that double chorus, we are again playing that intro part, which is now the outro part, and it's exactly the same as in the intro. So that's it for the song and um, yeah now I'm going to show you my performance and um, with the notation um, at the bottom part of the video and I hope you enjoy it thanks for watching and I really do hope you're able to play that song now or at least able to practice practice it and um, yeah that was my very first how to ding dong video and um, yeah 
I'll see you guys. <laughs> bye bye.